Also new at 10, it is the moment a lot of the Tri-State's talking about tonight. Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow getting carted off the field during training camp earlier today because of a calf injury. It is a very busy day. It sure is. We've been following this story all afternoon and we continue our team coverage tonight. Jeremy Rao in studio with an update on Burrow and um, also Simone Jameson's talking to concerned fans because she was also on this all day. Yeah, let's start with Jeremy. What have you learned about this injury? Well, we first told you right after Joe Burrow went down today at camp that it was a right calf injury. We have new information tonight and it comes with a glimmer of hope. Initial reports tell us that Joe Burrow has suffered a calf strain. This is our video of Joe Burrow injuring his calf on a non-contact play towards the end of day two of training camp today. Teammates immediately came around him, showed their support. Jamar Chase said Burrow gave him a little head nod that let him know that Burrow was going to be just fine. He also gave us a thumbs up while being carted off. ESPN and NFL media are reporting that it is a calf strain. Paul Danner Jr. is a senior Bengals writer for The Athletic. New tonight, we spoke with Paul about a possible timeline for Burroughs' return. Sam Hubbard was the perfect person to talk to for this, not just because he's close with Joe Burrow. He suffered a calf strain last year. At the end of the season, he missed two weeks. He pointed out it is not fun. It hurts. It does tend to linger. He said, but you know, you're out for a couple weeks and you get over it. 2021, Dak Prescott uh, suffered a calf strain mid-season, missed two weeks, won a bye, won a game in Minnesota, came back, started the last 11 games of that season. It, you know, no injury is the same, so you hate to, to, to try to compare, but I think you, there is some history here of what to expect. It's just, you know, Sam said it, it's just a bummer, whatever it is. Two great examples from Paul Danner Jr. tonight on two players who missed two weeks with a calf strain. So with that in mind, here's what's ahead for the Bengals. The first preseason game is just two weeks from tomorrow. Second preseason game in three weeks. Final preseason game in four weeks. And the most important, the season opener is six weeks from Sunday. The only thing that matters is the season opener in Cleveland. 45 days away, and we believe, to, uh, we believe tonight that it is realistic to hope Joe Burrow could be ready by then. Okay, continuing our coverage right now on a big day for the Bengals and obviously some important news around Joe Burrow. Simone Jameson has been covering the reaction from the fans and she joins us live right now.